it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys, Craft Farms here, whoops, and welcome back to another video on my map. So, what I have done, <sighs> what have I done? <laughs> um, so, as you can see, got all kinds of fence here. There is over 300 pieces of fence here. By now, there's probably four to 500 pieces of fence just in this little area so I finished going all the way around it and now I'm working on going in between all these piece all these bits here so that's what we're gonna do right now so you guys get to see more fencing um, yeah there there is so much fence on this map already it's just ridiculous I've probably spent like 20 hours just fencing or something it's ridiculous but oh well so yeah um once these are fence, once all this fence is finished, then I'm going to work on painting all the fields that go in this area. Um, and then, then it'll be time to do farms, which I'm really looking forward to. So, yeah. Um, and then I also do need to, I'm going to be adding a new dealership fairly soon as well. I actually need to talk to the guy that I'm going to get it from. See if he's got, got a minute to send it over. But, uh, yeah, so, right now, though, it's just boring old fences. So, there's currently 1,378 fences on here right now. That's including, like, the corners and the ends and whatnot. It's including every single piece of fence. And the way that I know that is because of this number right here. <clears throat> the 1379 tells me how many there are. So. A ridiculous amount. That's what I know. And. So if we look here. Alright. Let's bring this up. 13. We're just going to put 40 to be for this next one. Thirteen forty all the way up to here, correct? Yes. Thirteen forty nine thirty seven. Currently, there's 403 fences here, so it's not quite as many as I thought, but it's also not very far off from what I thought. So, yeah, insane amount of fields just in this area here. It's just crazy, but I guess I'm a little crazy for even come deciding on doing this, but. <clears throat> oh, and I did change um, the color of the um, grain probe here. I made it gray instead of blue, just because I kind of like it a little better than blue. So, uh, and then I don't 
think I changed anything else around here yet. So uh, those are not the only trees that'll be on this map. There will be a whole lot more trees eventually, but those are part of like the details. And I'm gonna once I finished painting all the fields in and adding all the farms, then I'm gonna go back and add all of the you know little detail items like the trees and um you know crumpling down houses and you know all that good stuff so <clears throat> that'll be added after that after all that's done Which, I'm getting closer to doing the farms. Much closer. Um, I just have the however many fields there are left to add. And you know what? I never have... I haven't yet to count how many fields are actually on here. So maybe that's what I'll do right now here. Let's see. Let's go to PDA mode. So we got one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, wait, whoa. whoa. Okay, I need to deselect that. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, and thirty six on here right now. And I believe there's quite a few left to add here. Let's see, we got one, two, three. Four, five, wait, no, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Oh boy, this is going to be fun because I'm going to have to duplicate. I'm going to have to figure out how to add more field numbers, I think. Because let's look here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oops. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Yeah, so I got to figure out how, how to work that. I don't know if you just duplicate this. And then change all the info or what you do. Because I know on my will map, I like imported some or something like that. And it like completely messed with things. Like it made made it lag terribly in Giants Editor. So I don't know if you are supposed to import or if you just duplicate or what. I will have to look into that. And then I also have to figure out like how I want to do everything. Uh, inside of Century 21. Because I'm not really sure how, I, how I'm going to set it up. To be able to like walk in there and know, okay, here is this field, or here is this farm, or whatever. I mean, I wish that all of the buy icons had different materials or something like that, because if they had, you know, like if they didn't all have the same material name, then what I could do is I could change the texture on it to just 
show or you know to say field whatever on it but they all have the same material so if I did that they would all show field blah 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 so it's gonna kinda be interesting to see how that's gonna work out I mean if I guess really I could like you know place them in there in rows and have them you know in numbered order but I don't know I don't quite know how I want to work that yet maybe I'll have to like do up some ad strips or something to put on the floor underneath of um, underneath each buy trigger with a field number on it or something maybe that's what I can do <laughs> that would be that would be a headache though holy smokes to have to change 49 ads to do up like 49 ad strips I guess it wouldn't be too well yeah it'd be a pain in the butt so I don't know how I want to do that as of yet all I know is I'm gonna find some way to set it up some way that'll look pretty cool Wait, is it not down far enough? Oh, crap, it's not. Uh, that's fun. There we Wow, that was perfect. Yeah, I do have to admit, these definitely look awesome. All these fences that are on here, but... Man, is it a pain to do. I mean, it just takes hour after hour after hour to do all these. I mean, I bet just this ring around these small fields here... I bet you that had to take five hours total, probably. I don't know. I really should, like, keep track on some of these things. You know, like, have a stopwatch or something and time how long I'm working on it. And then at the end of each day, write down how long I worked on it. <clears throat> and then once it's finished, I'd know like, okay, I spent 100, you know, like 150 hours on it or something. I don't know. So then my plan here, I'm gonna kind of aim for this post to tie into. So you can see we're kind of coming down straight to it almost. We'll have to just kind of angle the last one a little bit, but. I'm just going to tie into a post on this and then see this one just tied into right here and then that'll just continue all the way <clears throat> all the way over to here and then there'll be a post down in this area or I'll tie it into this one and then over here I took an end post 
or an end section and I just cut the um or like I subtracted the difference between this post and this post and then just split it in half got that in the middle so then it'll probably tie into this one or something I don't know yet but just all kinds of fencing to do here I think pretty soon you guys will be about as sick of fencing as I am. But just got these few fields left. And then I'm done with fencing for a while. For a little while at least. While I finish up the rest of the stuff. Because these fences are, or these fields, excuse me, are what we'll be using at the start. So, these are the ones that need the fences the most and whatnot, so. So then wherever this video stops, the next one's going to pick up at, pick up from because I'm just going to literally hit stop recording, rename the video file from it so that way, because I'll show you guys here, um, oh, that's still from me doing that, so I can delete all that stuff. So if you look here, uh, so this is the one that we're currently recording, so this will be this will be Wednesday, so this will just be WED, and then I have Friday, I have Monday 1 and Monday 2, Saturday, Thursday 1, 2, 3, and then Tuesday. So I have this one, and then I just have Sunday left to record as well, and then uh, I'll be all set for the next week, because um, it's Thursday the 16th right now. So these videos are for the week of the 20th through the 26th. I actually said that wrong in an earlier video. I was about a week off on my uh, guesstimate. But I'm, a, I'm another week in advance, so... Helps me stay ahead. So I'm just recording everything and then going back and editing and uploading. You know, I'll edit and upload in the order that they go up. Which is pretty much what I did for you know the last week of videos. Only Thursday I didn't get recorded right away. So Thursday is interrupting on the list. But but for the next week, I've got everything recorded already, yeah, except for Sunday, which I'll be recording as soon as this one's done. So... Six five. So we're almost ready to tie in down here. Then we can move on to the next section. So I think in the next video we'll be able to finish all the fences finally. Because we'll be able to finish this row here. And then we'll be able to get a pretty good portion of the next fence line done. So we'll be doing pretty good here. Whoops. 3.75. Ah, we'll go 3.8.
Okay, so this should be the last one in this row. Uh, we're just going to move it into place. And we got to angle it at that post there. And, okay, so I can just extend that one for that little bit that uh, it's missing. 3.8. Five, 3.9 about there we go okay so we're gonna go so we need to go down first off or kind of make it level with this one point five how's that look that looks pretty good so now we'll go one point zero whoa zero one zero one five all right, that'll do it. So then we also got to angle this post a little bit more the other direction. That looks pretty good. Works for me. Kind of comes to a corner down there. All right, on to the next one, which is this one here. So this is actually pretty flat right here. I think until we get like over to here. It kind of has like a little bit of a downhill or something. So just going to kind of keep an eye on it. See if I see it start sticking up or anything. Sticking out of the ground any. Or if it's too far in the ground. What do we got left? Eight minutes on the spot. It's always nice to have these flat spots because, you know, you can see I can roll pretty fast with these fences then. Because it's just duplicate and slide. Duplicate and slide. So we're still looking pretty good here. We're over 1,400 fences, too. I wouldn't be surprised if there's, like, two, maybe three thousand fences left to add. I mean, especially looking at that big field back there. That's going to take a lot of fence. Just for that one itself. And I can tell you right now, I don't look forward to doing that one at all. Not in the slightest. 336 acres of field. It does help though that I only have to fence two of the sides. Because the other two sides are along the map edges. So those ones can, you know, they don't, they can get by with, I can get by without fencing on those. Because of the, you know, the map edges, so... Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to work that there, but. but yeah, because the map edges, they have a rigid body on them. So if you, you know, try and drive off the edge of the map, you'll just stop dead in your tracks at the edge. And I find that really helpful, like if you got course play, you know, like if, mainly for the spots that aren't fenced, you know, along those, for course play, it helps a lot to have those because, or like auto combine or anything like that, because nearly every automated thing is going to have its moments of just pure stupidity, where it'll like, you know, it could be trying to turn and it just turns way wider than it needed to and it ends up falling off the edge of the map and I mean 
this map's not going to have a reset point on it. So, I mean, if that happens, you're out of luck. I mean, that piece of machinery, it's gone. It's gone for good. There's no retrieving that. You know, and the reason that I say I'm not having a reset point on here, in real life, you can't just click a button and your vehicle that's tipped over is back. You gotta fix it, fix it yourself. So, that's my reasoning behind that. So, I mean, like, we'll have to own a gooseneck trailer at the start, and... Or a bumper pull trailer or something, you know, some kind of trailer, and we'll have to have a pickup, of course, and... We'll have to haul and or drive our stuff. You know, we can use follow me mod for pickups. You know, so that way the pickup follows. And whoa, this is way off. Holy smokes. Yeah. That's not happening like that. Oof -da. It needs to be more like over there. So we'll just move all these over, I guess. Because, uh, yeah. There's no way I'm putting them that far off to the center. I would rather have them centered then look ridiculously off like that so then we'll have to bring over an end section wish I had looked at that like 50 fence posts ago. We're getting close to having all these moved. Just got a few more. <clears throat> it definitely would have helped to have noticed this like a long time ago. Could have fixed it and only had to do like five fence posts instead of 50, or however the heck many we've done. Come on, I don't want to select that. I want to select that. Okay, so then we need to go control shift C. We need to go up here, duplicate that. Control shift V, we need to go that direction. And then we need to delete the wires. Alright, now we can go back to these. That we nearly finished. That's ridiculous. But when I'm moving along fast, kind of just thinking, all right, well, I'm all set to go. So I just rock and roll through it. But no, not that time.
Okay, so I'm basically going to hit stop recording here and start recording right away again. And um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs as well as my upload schedule. Links to all my social medias and also links to some YouTube channels that are really worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.